This is the Lulz Bot Taz workhorse, and that name is well deserved. It's a filament based 3D printer like those most people imagine when they picture a 3D printer. The workhorse differs from other desktop printers in its class with its relatively large build volume and professional grade print quality. It was this build volume and Lulzbot's commitment to modularity and open source hardware that drove me to choose the workhorse as my go to printer. There are a few key features to mention about the workhorse. First, the print head that comes with the system uses the larger 2.85mm diameter filament. This works for me, but if you prefer a different size, Lulzbot's modularity allows you to easily change out the print head for another design using their universal tool head adapter. Second, the workhorse has improved its structural stiffness over its predecessor, the TAS-6, by increasing the rigidity of the frame and moving to a dual guide rod belt driven design for all stages. This increases the overall print accuracy of the system and avoids issues with bent lead screws. Finally, the workhorse also features backlash compensation, automatic bed leveling, and self-cleaning nozzle. These have become requirements for me when considering any desktop printer. The printing workflow is straightforward. Using the open source slicing software that comes with the workhorse, I can easily import parts, choose my material and settings, and start the print. Key wear items to pay attention to include the nozzle brush, which is located on the build plate. This is used by the print head to clean off the nozzle prior to measuring the height of the build plate. You can see I use this system a lot and the brush should be replaced from time to time. The plastic arm used to hold the filament spool can also start to wear where the spool edges right along the upper surface. Place a smooth wear surface here like a strip of packing tape to ensure consistent performance. And pay attention to the build glass plate. The plate that comes with the workhorse is excellent, but over time it can wear down, depending on how rough you or your kids are with removing parts at the end of the print. All in all, I would easily recommend the Lulzbot Taz workhorse to anyone looking for a desktop FFF printer for hobby, home, or work.